A new capability in Motion 2010 is the ability to add rigid groups to a particular study. The benefit of this is that it can really help you clean up your structure as well as eliminate redundancies. With the scissor lift here you'll see we've got a flattened structure and that gives us a total of 54 redundancies which obviously can induce errors in uh, the resulting forces so we want to minimize those. It's also a matter of we have a, a, a big tree to navigate up and down. To create rigid groups all we do is we select the parts we want to group so let's just go to the start one and what we're going to do is group the top components of this scissor lift that are going to move us, move us one system. We just right click, add to new group and we've got our rigid groups. You can see here they're all uh, locally uh, represented and you'll see their mates with respect to the other systems as well. So when we rerun that you'll see we've actually gone from 54 down to 9 redundancies by using the rigid group system. And obviously it's a lot more efficient to navigate our, our tree structure as well. So it's a great little addition to improve flexibility in how you can uh, build your models and clean up your uh, structure uh, and minimize the mechanism as well.